That's right. Yeah, we're not seeing as much of that hazy glow that we were seeing here at the same time yesterday due to some fog here, but we can definitely smell that smoke in the area. This fire has now been renamed the Hawthorne Fire, and we do know that it's now mainly along the north and south ridge lines. It also crossed over into Meriden, but there were fire officials here overnight keeping an eye and monitoring to try to contain this fire here. Aerial support is expected to arrive from Maine as early as today and at this time there are still no evacuation orders in place and there's been no damage to nearby homes or businesses at this point. Now since the flames first erupted on Monday night, the challenge for fire crews here has been the steep and rocky terrain of Lamentation Mountain. On top of that, conditions for brush fires have been elevated with the unseasonably hot and dry weather that we're experiencing. And we just urge folks, you know, we're not anticipating any rain in the near future. So continue to exercise a lot of caution and fire safety around, you know, avoiding uh, campfires and unnecessary burning and those sorts of things that contri could contribute um, to unexpected situations like this over the next uh, couple of days and weeks. Now there is a red flag warning in effect today, which translates to a higher risk for brush fires. So people are encouraged to follow their local fire restrictions and burn warnings. We are expecting another update from fire officials here at about 10 this morning. We will bring you that information live as it comes back to you in the studio. No, even a light breeze can significantly switch the dynamic of this fire. So if you get new information, uh, give us a wave. We'll get you right back on TV. Uh, several miles away, the brush fire has led to tragedy in Weathersfield this morning. That community grieving the loss of a firefighter who died while responding to the scene at Lamentation Mountain. I want to get right to Fox 61's Angela Bavaro joining us outside the Weathersfield Volunteer Fire Department as our team coverage continues this morning. Angelo, what have you learned? Keith, Symphony, good morning. A very, very somber morning for this town and this team. Police have identified that firefighter who died, a 66-year-old Robert Sharkovich Sr. I'm in touch with his daughter this morning who tells me he was an incredible man and father, and it's been so nice to see all of the community support and the outpouring of love that that family has been receiving. We also know that Sharkovich was a retired Hartford firefighter as well. Now, here's a look at the procession that carried Sharkovich from Berlin to the medical examiner's office in Farmington. Police and fire crews from dozens of cities and towns joined to escort the fallen first responder and paid their respects. Police say Sharkovich died after a utility vehicle rolled over in the woods of Meriden. That crash was reported at 535 at the south end of Lamentation Mountain. Police say three other firefighters were injured in that but are okay. And we have seen an outpouring of people coming out and paying their respects since that tragedy, including those from the firefighting community. I came out here today because I was a volunteer fireman for many years and just to support the town of Weathersfield as it's a brotherhood, no matter in the department, out of the department, it's a brotherhood in the towns. Governor Lamont has directed flags to be lowered to half staff in honor of Robert Sharkovich Sr. In a statement, the governor calling Sharkovich's dedication to the safety of our community nothing less than heroic. Our thoughts are with that family this morning. We're live in Weathersfield. I'm Angelo Bafar, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Angelo, you are the right person for this assignment. We know you'll cover it with attention to detail and care. More with you throughout the morning. Do want to let folks know we will have continued coverage on all of this. The Hawthorne Fire on our Fox 61 News app and obviously the loss of this firefighter as well. You can use the QR code on your screen to download our app or you can go to our website 24 hours a day, fox61.com.